Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of the My Career Universe in All Elite Wrestling. This is episode 12 and we're kicking off Dynamite with none other than Adam Cole, baby. And the reason this is going to be very interesting, this is a very interesting start to AEW Dynamite here tonight is because just a week ago, live here on, on Dynamite in Atlanta, Dante Inferno versus Adam Cole for the TNT Championship. But as you can see, the absence of hardware around the waist of Adam Cole, he lost the TNT Championship just as quick as he won it from Sammy Guevara. He lost it to Dante Inferno last week on Dynamite. And as Tony Khan said, when he made that match official last week, life comes at you fast and life keeps coming at Adam Cole incredibly fast right now but we're gonna hear from the Panama City Playboy to open up Dynamite here tonight let's get into it Unbelievable, unbelievable. I saw it happening before my very own eyes, but I didn't want to believe it. I refused to believe it, but now I see it. It's so clear to me. TK, Tony Khan has a conspiracy out for the elite. Tony planned it all along. Hangman would beat Kenny for the AEW Championship, and Inferno would beat me for my TNT Championship. He stuck it to the elite. Here we go, this is just about to get even more interesting. Here comes the new AEW World Champion, Hangman Adam Page. And the man in Hangman Adam Page who won that AEW World title back at the Full Gear pay-per-view in the main event from Kenny Omega, his longtime friend and longtime rival. And now Hangman Adam Page riding a wave of momentum quite like no other is about to confront a man who is honestly on the other side of that spectrum. Good God, you're losing your mind out here, man. I hate to see it, but I certainly do call bullshit on what you're saying. Oh, here we go. Here comes the new TNT champion, the Flame Sword, dressed to boot, dressed like a damn champion. Dante Inferno is here on Dynamite. And if Hangman Adam Page is calling BS on what Adam Cole's saying, you know that Dante Inferno is as well. Not to uh, rain on your parade, Hangman. I'm just here to pile onto the pain Cole is feeling right now because I also call bullshit on this whole thing. You won't be laughing for long, the both of you. Me and Kenny are taking back those titles as soon as possible and then we're moving past this clear conspiracy. I'm sure you'll try your best, but you ain't taking this title from me because you ain't that guy, pal. And I'm willing to bet my good friend Mr. Dante Inferno ain't gonna let that happen either. You can say that again, but Hangman, I got a little idea. How's about, since we're all clearly in the mood to fight here tonight, we have ourselves a little tag match. Inferno and Hangman riding horseback through a sea of flames to whip the candy ass of Adam Cole and Kenny Omega. You know what? That's not even a bad idea. There's no way TK can deny us any longer once we beat the piss out of the both of you. You're on. Go, it is now time for our main event live on AEW Dynamite, a blockbuster tag match featuring the likes of Dante Inferno, Adam Cole, Kenny Omega, and the AEW World Heavyweight Champion, Hangman Adam Page. And we're just a week away from the Christmas edition of AEW Dynamite, but by God, Christmas has come early when we get to see these four in the same tag match, in the same ring at the same time. My goodness me, it has been a minute since we saw Inferno whip out this kind of attire, but that's how you know the Flame Sword is here, and he is here for business as he begins his TNT Championship reign. This is his first match as being TNT Champion, and he is dressed for the occasion. And I'll tell you this, by the way, to break the fourth wall for a second, that is probably my favorite Dante Inferno attire that I have ever made. I'm definitely going to remaster that in 2K22 for Season 3 of the official My Career Universe. By the way, the AEW series is technically a spin-off in a different universe, in a different timeline. But when we get back to Monday Night Raw, Inferno is going to be firing at all cylinders, no pun intended, just as he may do here tonight against the likes of Kenny Omega and Adam Cole in the main event of a blockbuster edition of all Elite Wrestling's Dynamite. 
Now Inferno and Hangman are ready. Here comes the former AEW World Champion, the cleaner, the best bout machine, Kenny Omega. And to be honest, it really hasn't been well documented because we've been focusing on Adam Cole and Dante Inferno in the My Career Universe here in AEW. But uh, Kenny Omega's had a, uh, a similar downfall to Adam Cole in recent weeks. I mean, both Adam Cole and Kenny Omega have lost championships in the last week or so. Or just over the last two weeks, I guess. Kenny Omega losing to Hangman Adam Page in the main event of Full Gear to lose that AEW World title, which he held for almost a full calendar year since beating Moxley last year at Winter Is. Coming. And so now, just like Adam Cole, Kenny Omega are also looking to rebuild momentum and uh, get back into form and get back to a championship where many would believe he does belong. And last, but certainly not least, the Panama City Playboy making his way to the ring for another AEW main event. It's Adam Cole, baby! And to mock his team super just a second, to get a little play on words in here, it was all about the boom for a second, but then the boom quickly turned into flames, and it hasn't quite been the same since, but Adam Cole trying to become TNT champion again, or perhaps go after that AEW world title, he said that him and Kenny are coming for the titles regardless, and so it'll be interesting to see if they can beat the championship duo of, uh, duo of Inferno and Hangman in this blockbuster main event, I'm excited, Adam Cole's ready, Inferno's ready, Hangman Man's ready, Kenny is ready, let's get underway. And Ref Aubrey rings the bell, Hangman and Kenny, a rematch from Full Gear as this tag match is underway. Now, oh my god, caught him with a wicked back heel right there. Did Hangman and a page the current T, or excuse me, the current AEW World Champion, but the current TNT Champion also on the apron as well. This, this is a great championship picture as well. Let's not uh, let that get uh, too distracted in everything that's going on here in AEW. This is a great championship picture. Four of the very best are in AEW right now, and there is no promotion in the world doing it quite like we With are. With that being said, there's no one doing it quite like Adam, uh, quite like Adam Page is doing it right now. Big DDT off the top rope there to Kenny Omega. That might have spiked him. That might be all she wrote in this one, but no. Kenny Omega just too damn good. He's had a, a few too many five, six star and seven star matches in his career to give up that quick. Now Kenny Omega right there. Oh, clubbing hit to the back and what the hell is Kenny thinking? Oh, big backbreaker. The pump handle backbreaker right there to Hangman Adam Page. And this is going to be very interesting when we start to see some tags in this match. We're going to see different combinations between these four. We're going to see Hangman Adam Page hooking up with the other Adam in Adam Cole. We might even see Dante Inferno against Kenny Omega at some point in this match. But not if Kenny Omega has anything to say about it. What a modified V-trigger. Hang on a second. This one might be all over before it even gets underway because Hangman was rocked by that knee. He's felt the knees of Kenny before, but no. A counter to the one winged angel right there. And now another counter by Kenny Omega. Back and forth we go between these two men who once upon a time we're in the same corner. They were AEW Tag Team Champions, but not anymore. It is a rivalry that has quickly gone sour between these now, two. here we go. Adam Cole has been tagged in. This is what I was discussing a minute ago. The different combinations between these great uh, professional wrestlers in the ring. And right now, I think Hangman Adam Page needs to get a tag in to his own tag partner in Dante Inferno because he is, he is not looking too hot right now. Adam Cole here. Big knee to the head of Hangman Adam Page as all. Oh, look at this, of course. Classic Adam Cole. Cole, always finding time to glow. And honestly, you can't blame him for as much as he did lose that TNT championship quickly. You can't take away from the championship pedigree that Adam Cole has held for many years. He's held championships for a very long time, much longer than he held the TNT championship. You don't get it twisted. Adam Cole is, one, is still one of the very best in AEW. Excuse me, a big back suplex right there from the AEW World Champion as he throws uh, Adam Cole into the corner. And here comes Adam Cole's longtime rival. And oh my god, a double super kick there as Dante Inferno is going to get his hands on Adam Cole again. Riding horseback through a sea of flames. I mean, it's a bit of a long tag team name, but it certainly works for me. I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing the Cowboy and the Flamesaw team up a little bit more, but oh my god, Adam Cole certainly is up. Cole looking to put away Inferno with moves like that, looking to pin the TNT champion because then there's no doubt about it that he will get his championship 
two-minute rematch. It'll be undeniable, and it'll get past that whole conspiracy theory he was talking about at the hands of Tony Khan, because then Tony certainly can't deny if you beat a champion in AEW, you get your championship match. You saw how it worked for Dante Inferno a number of weeks ago, but now Inferno again getting caught by Adam Cole, spiking him again. Now here comes Kenny Omega. For the first time, we see Inferno and Omega going at it in all elite wrestling. And now, hang on a second, Inferno dropping it like a stack of dimes on the top rope right there. These are two of the very best of this generation, but we've never seen them hook up before. Or hook up, maybe not the right word, maybe a, a little bit caught me in 4K right there. Drop kick, no, doesn't quite connect there. Big boot connects there. Yeah, I feel like someone's about to catch me in 4K. I don't know why I've been saying they, they're going to hook up. You guys know what I mean, though, like hooking up in a professional. I'm not helping myself. Any Anyway, Dante Inferno went for an elbow right there. He doesn't connect, but he sends Kenny Omega straight to the outside of the ring right there. Inferno is all kinds of fight up as he stares into the face of Adam Cole. Oh, he went for something, but it didn't connect. Now Inferno here bouncing off the ropes, the flame wheel. Omega, he's feeling the flame wheel for the first time in his career. And by God, it might have just done the job here in the main event of Dynamite, but no. A kick out, good God. The flame wheel certainly a move that has put men away on many of an occasion for Dante Inferno. But now look at that. That Kenny Omega, interesting, throwing Inferno to the apron and tagging Adam Cole in. Perhaps he doesn't want any more of Inferno, but never mind. Inferno's back up to his feet, and now Adam Cole and Inferno going at it again. And now Inferno, oh, here we go. This is another one of those interesting matchups I talked about. Where let's see, I, oh, Adam versus Adam here in the middle of the ring. Oh, but Adam number one, <laughs> taking out Adam number two right there. Adam has just hit Adam with a flatliner. It is Adam Mania in the ring right now as Adam Cole, baby, takes out Hang. Uh, Hang Man Adam Page, good God, there's too many Adams. It is utter bedlam here in this tag match as everything breaks down for uh, these four men. But no, nice counter there by, uh, by Adam Cole. And now Hangman Adam Page, big clothesline. He gets it that time, bouncing under the ropes. And Hangman jumping clothesline. The Hangman, the world champion, was feeling it. But no, Adam Cole saw that coming. He had it scouted. Big kick to the head. And now Adam Cole throwing Kenny. Oh, excuse me, throwing him in the direction of Kenny Omega. And here we go. Hang on a second. Adam Cole, never mind. He's He's going for something else, going for something bigger. Adam Cole with the Panama Sunrise. The Panama Sunrise connects. One, two, no. A kick out, or excuse me, Inferno breaking it up. It is on a bedlam, as I said. And Adam. Well, there's his name. I don't even need to say it, but Adam Cole right now is riding a wave of momentum in this matchup, looking to get back to championship goal, looking to get to the back, back to that championship melee double super. And now look at Hangman Adam Page going after Adam Cole with the dead eye. Oh my God, he couldn't even get the pin right there. There was too much going on. Oh, big boot to Inferno though. Big boot as Omega is going out alone. The two Adams are bowling on the outside, and now here we go. Hangman Adam Page is bowling with Cole and Inferno feeling the of a German suplex spiking him. Omega is reminding you just exactly who he is right now. Forearm. No. Inferno's about to show Omega exactly who he is. Back and forth we go in this high stakes tag match of Wu Chop. And now Inferno here. Oh, another counter. Big boot. Does it connect? Back and forth we go between these two. The heartbreak influence on the kip of as well. And Ushi Garushi over there to Hangman and Page as Adam Cole takes out the AEW World Champion. And now Kenny Omega. He's already done the damage to that open wound as the referee's down but Kenny Omega doesn't care big knee now look at this Kenny Omega with that steel chair oh no Inferno with the counter through the seas of the blood the counter now here we go oh my goodness me look at the roll through into the armbar into the armbar oh my god Kenny Omega Kenny Omega surely gonna tap but the referee's down the referee's down the referee didn't see Omega tap in For goodness sake Inferno had Kenny Omega beat right there but Omega being the smart manipulative bastard that he is has just managed to turn the tide. Oh my goodness me. And now Kenny Omega with another one winged angel to Dante Inferno right in the center of the ring. And Omega and Adam Cole have got the job done. Damn it. What a match. But god damn it. Oh my god. I am legitimately straight up shoot exhausted after that match right there. That was a match that could made up at any pay per view, anywhere in the world and it certainly did not disappoint but in the end where the match really turned around is where Kenny Omega was tapping out to Dante Inferno's armbar right there 
and Ref Aubrey was down. She was inadvertently taken out and good God Omega turning the tide to the matchup right there. The knee into the one-winged angel, a move that no man has kicked out of and Kenny Omega and Adam Cole are right back in the title picture just where they wanted to be. Take nothing away from any of the champions we saw in that match but in the end just outsmarted and outmaneuvered by Cole and Omega and the Elite are on their way back up to the top but it's a lot easier said than done to take a title off a man as enraged as Inferno or as cowboy as Hangman.